This is a walkthrough video of 3411 Wolf. We're located over off Go Show, just off Go Show um, on Wolf Street. This is a this is a big lot and a big house. I I can't seem to count up all the bedrooms and I seem to get lost as I walk through this house but it's got a beautiful big open lot with some real nice mature oak trees this is a really picturesque setting the house is very cool it has a lot of neat features um, it has a detached two-car garage um, it's got a lot of bedrooms and a cool pool with a hot tub. It's, um, there's a lot of things I like about this house, and I'll point them out. One thing I don't like is that I'm going to say the roof is probably at the end of its life. And this is probably a pretty expensive roof to replace, because this is a big house with a lot of square feet under roof. Um, I don't even want to hazard a guess at the price for a roof on this. <clears throat> but, um, okay, so we have... So when I come into this house, I got a fireplace, like a little living area here. It's it's open in this area, but it's not open onto the kitchen. I can see the kitchen through there. Um, and then there's stairway going upstairs. And then you got an outdoor area that goes to the pool and the hot tub. But I'm going to attempt to kind of make sure I try not to miss anything. So I'm gonna start in the kitchen here. And the kitchen actually, I, I don't like the fact, it, there's seven foot ceilings here in the kitchen and dining area, but the cabinets are newer and they're very nice. Um, they appear to be wood cabinets. Um, just taking a look at uh, the wood, wood face and wood boxes, but the uh, drawers themselves are not, uh, not full wood. I do like the backsplash. This, these are granite tiles. Uh, which are nice. It's not granite, but it's 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 nicely done. I've seen um, I've seen these where they're not done so well, and this this actually was really nicely done. So has an eat-in kitchen off to this dining room, and I guess let me just start so I don't miss anything. I'm kind of going to keep turning to my left. So this is a real nice suite. It's its own bedroom, and it has a closet um, with a nice little linen closet. Nice vanity, and I do like the glass block up and above. So this is, I'm going to call this bedroom number one. So I'm going to try to keep an accurate count. Bedroom number one is a suite, and it has its own bathroom. These are real nice new sliders with the, um, you know, with the, the adjustable shades and those are real nice I like those and that just goes out to this kind of screen porch area which can be you know eat out, outside eating area I can see that there was a doorway that was covered up over there um, and that goes into another bedroom so I guess I'm gonna go there next and this is a little weird because I stepped down and it's a big step so I stepped down to another bedroom and this bedroom oh there's the fuse box which I have been trying to locate uh, the ceiling really slopes off here, and so it just, it, I mean, for a kid's room, though, this is this is fine. I just want to take a quick peek inside this panel, if I can get it open. And that panel is pretty, pretty full. And this is a square D box, so that's good. And there's a sub-panel here, which has some opening, so that's good. So there's room in there, so it's probably not too overloaded. Um, I like the 16 inch diagonal tiles here and little, little, little closet for little people. And then this little desk area. There's just all these little nooks and crannies and it's just kind of cool. So that's bedroom number two, we're going to call it. So then I come this way and this is going to be the, the second bathroom on this floor. So this would be the guest bath and it's a little tight in here, but it is a full bath with a shower. This is an inset shower, a little vanity, and medicine cabinet. Now, this is where I start to get lost, so I gotta really pay attention and follow my trail of breadcrumbs. Okay, so now I'm going into this bedroom, and this is a nice bedroom. I guess I'm gonna call this number three. This is bedroom number three, probably 12 feet wide, but 16 feet long. Okay, and then this corridor dead ends, and I figured out that there was a door there that led out to the pool, but since it's been covered up, which I don't really understand why. 
So this is bedroom number four. Um, it has its own closet. It's roughly about the size of bedroom number three. And here we can get a little, little shot out at the uh, pool and the hot tub and the cage, which is quite nice. Okay, so now this is where things start getting a little weird. Uh, this, I can't, I guess it's a bedroom. It has, it's more of a study, but it does have its own closet. It's got a little nook there. Um, pretty nice actual hardwood flooring, I think, in this room. That's, that's actual wood flooring, which is nice. Um, and so this comes back out to the living area, and then it also goes upstairs. And so the upstairs is where the master suite is. So I guess I'm gonna call that bedroom number five, or a den. So we call it, we'll just call it a den. So this is the master bedroom, and it's big. It's a nice big master with, with big windows and a door to a little balcony that goes out that just looks over the pool and over the property and looks at that really majestic oak over there. I really like that oak tree. It's, it's cool, and I'll show it to you in a minute. And uh, closet, one of the closets, and there's one of the air handlers which looks to be newer, which I like to see. And then this is the master bath. Uh, I could use a little threshold there, going to this tile. And the master bath has a tub with a shower door, and then the commode is separate. I like how it has a skylight. It's a nice pedestal sink. Um, the gold makes it a little dated. And then there's more closet over here. No closet doors currently, but that could be fixed with a barn door or something, or two barn doors. And, um, and yet another window. So this is really nice to have the master suite up top. And this is probably one of my favorite things about this property other than the property itself. Okay. So I think I cover just about everything in the main house here. I just want to point out, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go out to the pool area. All right. I'm going to go out this way. So I, don't, so I don't miss anything. So you got a nice little covered area here with a metal roof over this section, which is, is in pretty good, which is in okay shape. Has a hot tub and a irregularly shaped pool, but a lot of pool deck and a high cage, which I like, and a, and a water slide. I mean, you can't beat that. And so I do like, I do like this. This is where the door at the end of that corridor, um, I can see that was patched up. I'd actually think about putting that back there because I don't know why you wouldn't want to have a door going out to the pool right there. So out here, I really love this tree. I just gotta, I can see this being a really cool tree house at some point. Um, I like that you could practically put stairs walking straight, <laughs> straight up the tree. Look at that, isn't that cool? That is a cool tree. So, really private back here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we have over an acre of land. I haven't checked that, but you know, you got more fabulous canopy cover. These really nice trees. Look at these bird of paradises are huge. So this, this is the back of the house, and there's that closet you can see that slopes down. Um, we got the pool equipment, the air conditioner, and the water heater. Looks like it's seen some better days. This is the utility room where the washer and dryer are, and it's not connected to the main house, but I, right on the other side of this wall is where that closet is, and then this is, uh, I think, where that other little sitting area with the little desk is right there, and so it would be possible to do that. That door needs to be replaced. So we're on well here. And then in here we have a big two-car garage. So this is a separate, separate two-car garage. Um, and it has, you know, it's got a workshop and it's got a little, it's a, it's a good size with its own door, one big 16-foot um, opening. And then you also have a little storage shed over here. So this property just keeps going. And this is just a little storage shed, but it's nice because it has a wash sink, so um, nice to have that. The movers are here. We have one load, two trucks too. 
more of these more awesome oak trees. Look at the size of that one. I mean, that oak tree's got to be over 200 years old. So here we can kind of see this, uh, see the roof. Ooh. And the roof's definitely, I I'm going to say, at the end of its life, it's going to need to go. And here's that little sitting area, that bedroom. And then this is that screen patio. And so I think I made it all the way around and just about identified everything here. Um, just to show you where that laundry room could be tapped into. And if you wanted to, maybe even make another bedroom there. I, I mean, another bathroom. So I think I made it pretty well around and I'm getting to learn the layout here, but this is a cool house. Listed by Apple, Apple Realty. I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Thanks for watching.